Hi, it's Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today we are making these gorgeous crochet poppies. These crochet poppies look like Flounder's Field to me. They just remind me of everything fabulous about our heritage and our history. So this is super easy to do and you can put it in any sort of container. You can work up these amazing poppy flowers in no time at all. They literally take minutes with no ends to sew in. But before we get started, if English isn't your first language, you can click this gear right here and scroll down to find your preferred dialect. And if you'd like to follow along with a written pattern, all of my patterns are on my website, secretyarnery.com. So now to get started, we have two different types of yarn that we're going to need. One is a regular worsted weight acrylic, so a size 4 worsted weight or a 10 ply if you are in Australia. And I'm also using some green eyelash yarn for my grass, but you could also use regular green yarn, just the same kind of acrylic yarn, and it would just be like a flat granny square for your, the top of your planter. Or you could even use brown and have it as like a dirt look instead of grass, whichever you have on hand and whatever is easiest. I have two different tutorials for showing you how to either make a square for going in the top of a square planter or a rectangle planter or a round planter. So all three tutorials are available to show you how to make this grass and I will link those in the description box down below. You will also need some buttons, some black buttons. If you don't have black buttons, don't worry about it. I didn't either. I just took regular old shirt buttons and spray painted them with some matte black spray paint and they worked out super, super great. So black buttons of any sort or paint some buttons black. You'll also need some barbecue skewers. These are 25 centimeter ones or 10 inch barbecue skewers. And you'll also need a glue gun for attaching your button on to the end of your bamboo skewer. Those are gonna be the centers of our flowers. You'll need containers, so any sort of planter pot that you have on hand, and some floral foam for inside. If you don't have floral foam, you could use sand or marbles, anything that will hold up your flowers. I am using a five millimeter crochet hook, but you could use a four millimeter, five millimeter, six millimeter. It doesn't really matter. The smaller the hook, the smaller the poppies and you'll need a pair of scissors. So the great thing about this tutorial, this pattern, we are not sewing in any of our ends, so no need for a needle. Here are the timestamps. You can jump back into where you left off, and let's get started. To make the poppy, we're just gonna be using our red color yarn, and we're gonna start with a magic ring. That is gonna help our poppy really stay up at the top of our barbecue skewer. So just hold the tail over your non-dominant hand and hold it onto your ring finger with your thumb. Wrap it around two fingers, making an X, and bring it around that third finger. Flip your hand over so you'll have a short strand and a long strand. Take your crochet hook, slide it underneath the short strand and on top of the long strand. Bring the long strand back under and point the hook towards yourself. Slowly releasing that thumb so that yarn can slide. Point the hook away from yourself and grabbing that long strand. Turning your hook, pinching everything under your hook and bringing that yarn through. And there is your magic ring. I'll also link a tutorial for the magic ring just so you can practice that if you would like to. Chain one, and we're gonna do seven single crochets into the center of the ring and going over our tail. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. If I'm going too fast or too slow, you can adjust me just by hitting that gear on the screen and either slowing me down or speeding me up. So when you have your seven single crochets into the center of that ring, pull your tail. You don't have to worry about making it super snug right now. We just want to shut it a little bit. And now we're gonna work in to the top of that very first single crochet, right there. You could count back if you'd like, so we've made seven. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven is right there. So we're just gonna be going right into that stitch, that first single crochet, and slip stitch to join. 
and chain two. One and two. Now we're going to go into that very same stitch right here, right where we did our slip stitch. We're going to make one double crochet and one treble crochet. So wrap your yarn twice, one treble crochet. So that's the first half of our first petal. Now into the next stitch right here, we're going to go in and do the opposite. So starting with a treble in US terminology, there is one, and then doing a double crochet into the same stitch, and chaining two to get back down. And we're going to go in to the very same stitch with a slip stitch. So slip stitch to finish off our first petal, one slip stitch, so there's our first petal, and chain two, one and two. Now into the next stitch right here, we're going to start our petal. So we start with one double crochet and one treble crochet. So there's our double, and here is our treble. And we're going to finish it into the next stitch. So into the next stitch, we are going to do a treble crochet and a double crochet. So one we go up and one we go down. So there's my treble, and here is my double, all into the same stitch. And chain two to get back down. And slip stitching into the very same stitch. So there's half of our poppy done. Chain two, one, and two, and into the next stitch we are going to start our petal. So one double crochet and a treble. There's our double, and here is our treble. And into the next stitch we're going to be coming down, finishing our petal. So starting with a treble and then a double. So one treble crochet and one double crochet, chaining two, and into that very same stitch, slip stitching to finish off our petal. So three petals done, chaining two to get our height, and into our next stitch we are starting our petal. So one double crochet and one treble crochet. There's our double. And here is our treble. And into the next stitch, it's also where we started, right here, we are going to finish our petal. So to finish, one treble crochet and one double crochet. Chaining two and slip stitch in to the first stitch right over there. So we're going to slip stitch over into the next petal space and chaining one to secure our yarn. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to knot. <laughs> we're not sewing it in. Bring your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down. Turn your flower over and now we want to pull that center tail to snug up that center. We really want to close it as tight as we can, which is a great thing about using acrylic yarn for this pattern because you can really pull it snug and it won't snap. Just like that. Now our other tail, you can, if you feel like it, thread a needle and bring it back closer, just like that. But for these flowers, I don't think we really need to. We are going to make our knot at the bottom of our center tail. So really make sure that that is snug. And now we're going to knot it in the center of our flower. So we're gonna bring that tail from the outside in to the middle. So give it a nice double knot. Like that. And give it a triple knot. We wanna knot it one more time and then we can really pull it. Just like that. Now we can pull it a lot. 
It is super snug and we can just cut those tails off. Now you can go ahead and make as many of these poppies as you like and also go ahead and glue a bunch of those black buttons on to the flat end of a barbecue skewer. So I just put a drop of glue on a button and stuck my barbecue skewer on it, twisted it a little bit and then put it in a cup just for it to dry for a few seconds. And I just did that a bunch of times so I have a bunch of black centers ready for my poppies. Then grab your poppy and just right into the center where that magic ring is, just slide your barbecue skewer in and it will be really tight because of that magic ring. So slide it all the way up to the top of your poppy just like that. So now get all of your poppies ready on a barbecue skewer. Get your planter ready with your grass or your dirt, whatever type of topping you wanted to put, and then put all of your poppies into your planter. Just keeping in mind that all of your poppies are in a little bit of a different height. Not all of them, some of them are similar, but some poppies are lower, some are higher. So just poke some down farther into your floral foam or your marbles and leave some a little taller and that'll give you your very own flounder's field. So I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. If you want to see more of my work, check out this podcast.